ahead of ECOWAS military intervention in Niger Republic. Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger form strong alliance. Once ECOWAS against military intervention in Niger Republic. Please watch this video. Share this video. Share this video. Make sure you share this video. Drop a comment. Tell us where are you watching this video from. Thank you. But don't forget to follow Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube. Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso established Sahel Security Alliance. The military leaders of Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger on Saturday signed a mutual defense pact. Ministerial delegation from the three Sahel countries announced in Mali capital Bamako. The Liptako Goma Charter established the Alliance of Sahel States EAS. Mali Junta leader Asimi Guata posted on X, the social network, formerly known as Twitter. Its aim is to establish an architecture of collective defense and mutual assistance for the benefit of our populations, he wrote. The Liptako Goma region, where the Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger border meet, has been ravaged by jihadism in recent years. This alliance will be a combination of military and economic efforts between the three countries. Mali Foreign Minister Abdullah Edop told journalists, Our priority is the fight against terrorism in the three countries. A jihadist insurgence that erupted in the northern Mali in 2012 spread to Niger and Burkina Faso in 2015. All three countries have undergone coup since 2020. Most recently, Niger, where soldiers in July overdrew President Mohamed Bazoum. The West African regional bloc ECOWAS has threatened to intervene militarily in Niger over the coup. Mali and Burkina Faso quickly responded by saying that any such operation will be deemed a declaration of war against them. The charter signed on Saturday binds the dignitaries to assist one another, including militarily, in the event of an attack on any one of them. Any attack on the sovereignty and territory integrity of one or more contracting parties shall be considered as an aggression against the other parties and shall give rise to a duty of assistance including the use of armed forces to restore and ensure security. It states, it also binds the three countries to work to prevent or settle armed rebellions. Mali has, in addition to fighting jihadists linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group, seen a resumption of hostilities by predominant Torej armed groups over the past weeks. The escalation risks texting an already stretched army, as well as the junta's claim that it has successfully turned around a dead security situation. The secessionist group had in 2012 launched a rebellion before signing a peace agreement with the state in 2015. But that accord is now generally considered moribund. The renewed military activity by those armed groups has coincided with a series of deadly attacks attributed mainly to the Al-Qaeda-linked jihadist Alliance Support Group for Islam and Muslims. Mali Junta pushed out France anti-jihadist force in 2022 and the UN peacekeeping mission MINUSMA in 2023. French troops have also been pushed out of Burkina Faso, while Niger coup leaders have renounced several military cooperation agreements with France. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on Casa TV on YouTube and Facebook. Remember to drop a comment, tell us what you think about our video, and please share our videos. Thank you. Article 1. Par la présente charte, dénommée charte du Liptako Gourma, les parties contractantes instituent entre elles l'Alliance des États du Sahel en abrégé AES. Article 2. L'objectif visé par la charte est d'établir une architecture de défense collective et d'assistance mutuelle aux parties contractantes. Les parties contractantes œuvreront en outre à la prévention, la gestion et au règlement de toute rébellion armée ou autre menace portant atteinte à l'intégrité du territoire et à la souveraineté de chacun des pays membres de l'Alliance, en privilégiant les voies pacifiques et diplomatiques et en cas de nécessité à user de la force pour faire face aux situations de rupture de la paix et de la stabilité. Toute atteinte à la souveraineté, 
et à l'intégrité territoriale d'une ou plusieurs parties contractantes sera considéré comme une agression contre les autres parties et engagera un devoir d'assistance et de secours de toutes les parties. L'ambassadeur n'est pas séquestré par les Nigériens. L'ambassadeur est séquestré par leur propre volonté parce que les autorités nigériennes ont justement demandé à l'ambassadeur de quitter et ils l'ont déclaré persona non grata pour quitter notre pays. Donc, L'ambassadeur de, de, de France au Niger n'est plus ambassadeur, il est considéré comme un sans-papier. Donc s'il ne quitte le Niger, ce n'est pas une séquestration, c'est leur propre volonté. Et nous savons que Emmanuel Macron cherche un prétexte de guerre pour envahir notre pays. Mais il faut que Emmanuel Macron comprenne que le peuple nigérien est déterminé. Il faut que le peuple Emmanuel Macron comprenne que nous avons compris leur jeu et nous n'allons pas en tout cas tomber dans leur piège. Please drop a comment. Tell us where are you watching this video from. Don't forget to share this video. Share this video now and share it again. Thank you. Don't forget that more news updates is coming soon. If you are not following Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube, how will you be aware? Please follow Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube now. Thank you.